Welcome to your Trojan Sports Now interview, and with me today is Carlton Marshall, linebacker with the Trojan football team. And thank you for joining us. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Um, so to first start off, so why'd you pick Troy and come here to play football? You know, um, it all started really. I had a pretty good um, high school career, you know, my junior and senior year, uh, those two years yeah. together. And um, I really didn't receive the big offers, of course, because of my size, you know, 5'8 and a half, 5'9 yeah. linebacker. Most people look over you. Like, I had a few preferred walk-ons to, like, uh, Auburn and Michigan, but I looked at it as, nah, I'm not sure. And I kind of questioned myself. Yeah. I had some offers from, like, North Alabama, uh, Valdosta State, places yeah. like D smaller D2 uh, places. Yeah. And I really saw it as, you know, I, did, I felt like I deserved a bigger shot. So I was like, okay, I think Troy's the right idea for me. And um, Coach uh, Neil, well, he's not here anymore. Yeah. I talked to him. And Coach Summerall, he's not here anymore. They said, go ahead, Carlson. I mean, yeah. we see your family. We like you. you know, we'll see what you do and just come up here and make, make plays, and we'll see what we can do. Well, that's, that's definitely what you're doing <laughs> now. You're leading this Trojan defense. So tell me a little about, like, the preferred walk-on, like, how it works, kind of. Because a lot of people don't really understand. Like, we understand the scholarships come through. But how does that really work as you've earned a scholarship? Mm -hmm. You got that scholarship after you came in with the preferred walk-on. So tell me how that kind of works. Okay, well, uh, yeah, you walk on. Like, you come in that fall. You know, prefer walk on. You're not really an actual walk on. You're already on the team. Like walk on, some, regular walk ons have to try out. When you prefer, you're already on the team. You know, you have to work. You know, the scout team and all that. You're in this uh, developmental program where you're lifting, getting bigger, getting stronger. Yeah. And usually, you sit out for like two years, and you won't have to. Um, you don't have to uh, play. Well, you don't have to play anything. Just practice. You don't travel. You know, um, then. They evaluate you the next spring to see if you get a scholarship. Okay. But usually, they say it's like two to three years before you get a scholarship. They say uh, me and Blaze were probably the only few who did it in less. Yeah. So that was that was big to hear. Oh yeah, that's yeah. awesome. And like, so does that also play a reason why you redshirted? Like as you said, you sit out like the first year or two. So is that one of the reasons you had to redshirt? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was one reason I had to redshirt. You know, being you know uh, preferred walk on. You know, like I had a lot of things I had to like change about myself like I changed my body around change yeah. my mentality because it was a real it was really a reality check yeah. you know being being like that guy on your high school team and coming to college and being told uh, you're not ready yet so yeah. it's really a reality check kept me down to yeah earth. so like how is that jump like you, like you said reality check like how different is like the competition wise from where you go from high school to now you're competing with these college guys where they they were the top of their high school as well but exactly. that was you too so how does that like how do you kind of fit in and how is it been the transition you know, the transition uh my first year uh playing last year well my red shirt year yeah. red shirt freshman um it was nice you know i know the game is like a lot faster and it's a lot more i gotta uh, yeah. cover i gotta make sure everybody around me is ready make sure they know the defense so it was a big step i had to take but i had uh teammates to help me up with that definitely um so I saw you grew up playing baseball and basketball as well, correct? Mm -hmm. So what really brought you to football instead of going on? And I saw you also won, I think you won a um, state championship your junior year for basketball, correct? Yeah. Or you guys made it to the finals? Yeah, we won our, you our won. junior year. Yeah. So why did you pick football instead of going any other way? Okay, well, honestly, my dad, he's, he played basketball when he was in the Army. My brother played all three, basketball, okay. football, baseball. My dad really wanted me to play baseball, but I was like, that. I mean, at this point, I really just wanted to yeah. play football because I was better at it, you know. Basketball actually is my favorite sport, but <laughs> the song. But <laughs> <laughs> basketball actually really is my favorite sport, but I mean, what kind of 5'8 guy, 5'8 yeah. stock, stocky short guy plays yep. basketball. So I was like, you know what, football is it. So I just kind of fell in love with it. Exactly, that 5'8 stocky guy is killing it right now <laughs> on the field, so that's awesome. So um, you actually tied Demarcus uh, Ware's uh, record of the total most tackles, total loss together in a game. So tell me a little about that, like tying his record, knowing how big of a deal he is to our university. Uh, honestly, I had no clue until after the game that someone told me that. I was, I thought that's that's, a, that's wild. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that's that's good company to have. Right oh yeah. There. And I, I see it as a. That's, that's just really a big step. I look up to DeMarcus where he came to talk to us okay. a few times. I spoke to him a few times. He didn't even know who I was. Oh, wow. And hope, hopefully, I mean, I caught his eye. Oh, yeah. I, I, I bet you definitely have now. <laughs> so um, 
So your first year or two like that you redshirted, you were number 38, mm -hmm. and you transitioned to the number two this year. So tell me a little about that. No, number two, it uh, runs in my family, you know, my father playing sports when he grew up, he was number two. Okay. Well, my brother, he was number two, like, but back in like Pop Warner, I was number, I was, I was like number 10, number six, and it's hard okay. to believe I was actually number 72 playing quarterback. Yeah. So. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> and then one year I just, Stuck with two, yeah. got, came to high school, two was already taken. So I had to go to 18. So then my senior year, I finally got two back. And I just thought, you know what, let's go back to the basics. Let's get yeah, the two. Definitely. Um, is there a reason why they picked number two, your dad or any of your brothers? Like, is there a certain reason the number two is really prominent? Or just from the beginning, they've kind of had it? It's, it's really just from the beginning. They okay. just kind of had it, you know, it just kind of ran. So I was like, you know what, I mean, I feel like two is the best number. Mm -hmm. So might as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Um, so, do you have any pregame rituals, any kind of music you listen to, anything that really gets you pumped to get going? Okay, honestly, people, people like to listen like motivational things, yeah. like oh, like rock and rap and all that music. But I, I usually listen to uh, gospel music early in the morning. Like on the way to the game, you'll be surprised. I have like pop music going on yeah. and every, like all types of music. So it really doesn't like. I listen to all types of music, so it really doesn't really play a factor into what type of music I listen to. Gotcha. So like. The gospel, what really gets you about that gospel in the morning, you know? What really gets you going to listen to that? I, I, really, I can really couldn't say, you yeah. know, it's just there's some, something about it, you know, it just gets me in the right mindset, just know that, I mean, it's just a game. I mean, it's a lot of things bigger than this. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. So uh, what are, what's one of your favorite memories as a football player, not only at Troy, but let's say throughout your career? Like something you really is prominent to you that you remember, like, okay, that's one of the reasons I still play football or one of my favorite memories? My, my favorite memory uh, was probably in high school, you know, uh, coming here and Troy being red-shirted. I really didn't have that, like, that big LSU win they had. I, was, I wasn't there. Yeah. The Ark State win they had, I wasn't there. So, really, the biggest one yet was probably my winning the state championship in high school. I haven't had a feeling like that in so long. Yeah. So, I'm just waiting for this year, hopefully, to get that championship. Definitely. Um, so, have you ever thought about going to the league? Oh, so that's always <laughs> always a question. So, how do you feel about that? Like, what's your goal towards that? Like, how do you feel about working towards it? Oh, for sure. You know, that's every athlete's uh, dream. Uh, make it to like the highest, yeah. the highest uh, place you can get. You know, NFL, baseball players, yeah. all that, NBA, basketball players. So, I mean, that's that's big. But really, my father always told me, do do not let that be the only thing you have going for you. Like. So make sure you get your major, make sure you get your classes. So, of course, the NFL is, like, my yeah. dream. But if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I have a, a really big safety net. Yeah. With this. And as your dad said, like, always have something going else, like, get your degree. So you actually work behind us, mm -hmm. uh, the scenes here. So tell me a little about that. How is it kind of different being behind the scenes instead of being in front of the camera, like, tackling all these guys <laughs> and being, like, just a little take back and kind of knowing what's going on? Uh, it's really interesting to me, you know, getting to know you guys, you know. <laughs> It's really nice. A lot of things I learned, you know, like working the cameras, working like audio, being yeah. a director, everything. So I, I really like that a lot. So it's just giving me a nice little feel around the uh, studio. Awesome. So, uh, so let's talk a little about the season. Mm -hmm. um, so you guys are two and one right now. You guys play Arc State. You've you haven't played them yet, correct? No. So tell me something you're looking forward to as you've seen as you watch film or something that's just really pointed out to you that this is your first time competing in this team. They've always been pretty solid competitive in the Sun Belt. So mm -hmm. what's, what are you really looking forward to this weekend? I'm looking forward to like, you know, they have some good receivers, you know, number seven, number nine. Um, I'm not sure of their names, but I've seen film on them. Yeah. They remind me a lot of our offense, you know, a lot of run pass options. So we, they probably won't run the ball much because we've been watching them on film. Yeah. Those big receivers, they probably will air the ball out a little bit. So yeah, looking forward to that. Gotcha. So, like, what's working with the defense right now? So, you guys had that one little shaky shootout against Southern Miss. Other than that, you guys have been pretty good where you've held, you held Akron to seven points. Mm -hmm. So, what's kind of working for the defense, which still needs to keep being pushed to help you guys even get better as the season keeps going? Yeah, really, one way, uh, communication, because that really plays a big part in it. You know, we got caught in a few bad coverages in um, Southern Miss, and that was all because of uh, the communications uh, part. Yeah. So, like, it's not going to be a shootout with this one. It shouldn't mm -hmm. be. But if it is, we're prepared to strap it on and just deal with that accordingly. Gotcha, yeah. Um, so any certain games you guys are looking forward to as a team which you really, like, have marked it off on the calendar, you know, like, we got to go and get this one? Mm -hmm. Really, we really take it, like, one week at a time. You yeah. know, honestly, this Arc State game, we see it as this is really, this is, like, going to be a turning point in our season because, yeah. you know, we got Arc State. Then we got Missouri. 
then we got south. So we got a little nice little stretch. So yeah. this is really a start. You know, we start conference play, so this is going to be really big. Yeah, it just game. continues to get deep, deeper and deeper in the season and tougher. Yes, sir. So you were here for the transition of Neil Brown and Chip Lindsey. So tell me a little how things have probably changed or even stayed the same. Okay, really? I mean, of course we had to get acclimated to the new coaches coming in, you know. Yeah. Had to get to know them better. A few coaches stayed, like Coach uh, Bam Hardman, Coach um, Hall. Yeah, they stayed, so we already knew what we were getting with them. Mm -hmm. You know, new, these new coaches, we had to get a feel for them. So I, I say it's going pretty good, you know. Yeah. Neil was a completely different coach than um, Coach Lindsey, and I really like, actually like that about Coach Lindsey. He was, coach Lindsey, he's a really good guy, you know, really a uh, stand-up guy, honestly. You know, cool man. So, yeah, I like to have him. That's good. So, uh, so final question. So personally, as for yourself, the goal is always to win the Sun Belt Conference and do as great as you can as a team. But personally, personally for yourself, as you move forward, you still have two years left. Mm -hmm. What's your kind of goal as you move ahead? The league, getting your major, like what's really your goal as you move towards the end? Uh, like towards the end, like football wise, I want to um, be an All-American like every single year. I know that's going to require a lot of me, but I mean, I think I'm up for the job yeah. to just go strive for it. My ed education wise, you know, just finish school, get my diploma and maybe, maybe get my master's yeah. if that works out. So. Yeah. That'd be great. I, it'd mm -hmm. be great to see you in the league, man. And yeah, you're working nice. hard. You're doing great. You're killing it out there. Just good luck to you guys mm -hmm. and the Trojans. You guys keep moving forward. Thank you. And thank you guys for staying tuned. So stay tuned for what's coming up in Trojan Athletics right after this.